CPI came hotter than expected. What does it mean? No rate cuts during 2024 and how it will affect the market. Hey there, Tamir from FibonaccioNews.com, your daily market recap post CPI. Like, subscribe, let's see the charts. We are entering a bearish land in the SPY. We entered the yellow zone, which is the no trading zone. The lower border, the 511 area now needs to hold the support. Otherwise, 508, 503, and then this gap at the 497. As you can see, we are bearish on the 65, bearish on the 4 hours, bearish on the daily. Still bullish on the weekly because we are still inside an overall uptrend channel. This is how it looks on the 65 minutes. We opened with a gap to the downside all the way to the 512 area, then close the gap and sideways move. No more rate cuts or no rate cuts at all during 2024. Let's see. For now, we are starting a bearish sentiment. Look at the QQQ also broke below the yellow zone. Now, the, five, the 436 needs to hold, otherwise 432 below the 432. This gap at the 426 will get filled. QQQ, 7 to the SPY, bearish on the 65 on the 4 hours and on the daily, still bullish on the weekly. Tomorrow's PPI coming up. Let's see how the market will react to the PPI. Dow Jones with a doji. Look at this, doji after doji, but slowly, slowly sliding down. Now the 383 on the Dow needs to hold. Otherwise, we have all these levels of support, future support, and the 373 will come sooner than we expected. Very sentiment on all time frames on the Dow Jones. So if you want to go long at the Dow Jones, this is not a time. Look at the SPY. Let's go back once again to the SPY. We are inside a broadening formation, a massive broadening formation. We have this trend line that helps us identify the higher highs, but we are also now in this trend line broadening formation with a doji. Maybe we'll get a bounce of the 508, maybe of the 503. And once we get this gap over here getting filled the 597 maybe then we will get a bounce back towards the 560 overall this is how it looks and the spy same goes for the qqq look at the qqq we have a broadening formation also on the qqq broadening formation is the only formation how price moves price aggregates we have this broadening formation we are still far from the lower border of the burning formation maybe this trend line takes us all the way to close the gap at the 4 not 425 iwm broke below this yellow trend line 199 now is the support with a doji breaking below 196 192 we have a double but double top scenario on the iwm so this is how it looks. Also the IWM, we have a broadening formation. Always look for broadening formations and then you will know with the highest probability where price might be heading next. Look at this trend line from support, resistance, resistance, doji of a trend line back to the downside. Now we have this area of support. Below it, we have this broadening formation, doji on the lower border of the broadening formation together with a very important area of support. Can we get a bounce off backup? First, close the, this gap at the 204. Breaking below this area, very important area of support. Below it, we will see 196, 192, and then 187 to the downside. Bitcoin overall, retesting this red area. Once again, this red area is a very tough resistance. Look at here. Since it made all-time highs back March, since then, Bitcoin is struggling with this area. We are still 
above this trend line higher lows this area is a very important area of resistance breaking above it we can take fibonacci swing low swing high above this area we will retest the all-time highs and then 77 and 83 to the upside breaking below this trend line we can take fibonacci to the downside and it will take us 65 60 and then to this yellow zone always prepare for both sides ethereum struggling inside the yellow zone overall ethereum bullish on all time frames this is why we have this small table over here it helps us to get a better point of view of multi time frames now let's see continuation above the 37 and then 38.50 and 4.4100 KRE 5% to the downside overall this area the 46.40 holding a support as you can see since February 1st this area a very important area of support below it this gap will get filled and then we have another gap over here at the 4160 magnificent seven holding strong inside this option option channel holding above the yellow zone we are bullish most of the time frames now let's see continuation after ppi can magnificent seven continue up above the 39 40 and then 40 40 70 and then 4173 breaking below this area breaking below the 39 together with this lower trend line we will see 38 38 38 38 38 and then 37 below 3740 this gap will get filled sox struggling to hold above this trend line doji after doji four consecutive doji Below it, we have the 217.60, below it 210, and then this gap will get filled. Overall, bearish sentiment on the SOXX, the semiconductors ETF, except the weekly. Weekly, we are still bullish because we are hanging above and ahead of an eel, but still hanging above this uptrend channel, uptrend line. Silver. 1% to the downside, three consecutive doges. Silver bulls are getting weaker. They need to hold above the 2490. Otherwise, this gap at the 2395 will get filled. Gold. Also, four consecutive days. In conclusion, indecision on the gold. This area, the 2300 area, is the support. Above the 2365, we will see 25. 100 and then 2575 dollar index dxy back to november 14th level 105.3 as long as rate cuts will not happen the dollar index will continue to the upside above 105.30 we will see 106 and then back to the 107 overall we are bullish on all time frames we have this trend line that helps us identify the trend for now we are inside an uptrend until proven otherwise natural gas 1.6 percent to the downside hanging above the yellow zone still inside this uptrend channel but look at this we are getting signals of a bearish sentiment breaking below and the bullish sentiment on the daily will also become red xlf 1.5 percent of the downside inside the yellow zone below it 4.36 and then 39.80 and this gap will get filled overall the the sentiment in the major of the market all across the board is starting to get bearish on all time frames xlu since end of march the sideways move as you can see the 65 area was a very important area of support today broke to the downside hanging above the yellow zone but bearish sentiment 
like, subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss the pre-market preparations. We are going live together. Ask me anything. Q&A, everything live. 8.29 Eastern Time. Apple breaking below this very important area of support. We have been talking about this area of support since beginning of March. Today, Apple 1.11 to the downside. Apple is breaking down and under. Apple is on its road to close this gap at the 147. We have earnings coming up May 2nd. Still have time, but for now, Apple is breaking to the downside. Can bulls of Apple bring price back above the 168? Let's see how the market will react to the PPI numbers. But for now, as you can see, Apple is going down. AMD another day, 2% to the downside. Another day, another doji. AMD is struggling to hold above the 164 area. We have been talking about this area. We said that we will see a very long time sideways move above the 164 because this is the price action we saw over here. Always look left and try to identify major support and resistance area and how the price moves or aggregates on these levels of support or resistance. This was a resistant resistance. Here it was support. Now the 164 area support support bearish sentiment on a AMD breaking below the 164. No need to break your head. Just ask the FTI where price of AMD will be heading next. 147 below it 124 area nvidia relative strength with two percent to the upside but a doji not a doji inside candle inside candle is an indecision candle both sides failed to take price to where they want buyers failed to close above previous day's highs sellers fell to close below previous day's lows. So this is what makes an inside day an indecision. We are still inside this blue channel to the downside short term, but we are still in a downside breaking be above the 873. And then we can start taking long position slowly, slowly back to the 908 and 970 to the upside. Patience, patience, patience. In trading, patience and risk management. They are the best friends, traders' best friends, risk management and patience. Without one of them or without both of them as traders, we are doomed. Meta 0.6% to the upside. Holding above the, ye the middle yellow trend line. Now let's see continuation up above back to this upper border of this uptrend channel. We can take Fibonacci and look at this. We had swing low, swing high, retracement and bounced off the 50% retracement. Ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, each and every video, every day, it's all about trend lines. And Fibonacci all comes down to this. Once you identify, once you learn the in-depth relationship between candlestick analysis, trend lines, and Fibonacci, you will know with the highest probability, 85-90% chance of success in trading. Tesla, still below this blue trend line. You know this trend line? We drew this trend line way back and still we are below it look how trend lines are the true support resistance and more important they are the roadmap for future price action what does it mean it means one thing that as long as tesla is struggling with this blue trend line the way for tesla is to the downside next support the 168 below it 146 gap 
will get filled let me know in the comments below what do you think will tesla close this gap before earnings after earnings or are we going to close the 186 gap let me know in the comments below very interesting to know your thoughts and your ideas microsoft still no change on microsoft since middle of march microsoft is going sideways above the 118 area very important area of support this is the yellow zone below it breaking back inside the yellow zone we will see 5 4 10 and then this area the 405 and 398 micro strategy trying to break above this short term downtrend channel with 8.7 percent to the upside it did broke above the yellow zone but look at this we are still bearish on the daily we got ourselves back the bullish on the 65 and bullish on the four hours but still bearish on the daily and on the weekly which means that if we are long and micro want to go long on micro strategy more than day traders for swing trading for the long term we need bullish on the daily at least bullish on the daily and preferably bullish on the weekly for now we are still inside this short-term downtrend channel short-term short-term but we are still inside it breaking above the 16.22 back to the 17.15 and then bearish on the daily will turn into bullish google another day another doji overall bullish on google very important area of support is 153 area from resistance to support overall google looks pretty sharp pretty good we are inside an uptrend channel inside an uptrend overall uptrend uptrend channel inside an uptrend very very bullish on google can google hold the market by itself for now this trend uptrend channel takes us all the way to the 166 area together with the yellow trend line together with the extended fibonacci level of re resistance all comes down to trend lines and fibonacci amazon almost on the zero overall amazon with a bullish sentiment on all time frames this is the all-time highs on amazon can we get all-time highs tomorrow on amazon overall amazon same as google very bullish holding strong to the market's turmoils option channel towards the all-time highs and above netflix nothing much 0 0.06 holding strong inside this option channel above the yellow zone let's see continuation above the 630 and then this bearish and the daily will turn into bullish smci continue its way to the downside short-term downtrend channel but here we are once again at the 618 everything comes down to fibonacci and trend lines breaking below the 618 area the 618 fibonacci level and this gap at the 773 will get filled Thank you very much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful educational if so like subscribe hit the notification bell because we are going live every day 8 29 eastern time preparing together for another trading day until then stay safe